And I think the important thing also is to be always to be inclusive. It, it doesn't help if you just villainize the oil companies. I mean, when I became governor, I went to Chevron and they said, hey, I need your help. Mm. And they said, uh, what can we do for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to know, I just want to say, when you, I've, I've interviewed a lot of people, a few people in my life, and when you ask Governor Schwarzenegger a question, he fixes you with this death glare. <laughs> You're not getting it back there. You can't see it. But Tom and I are seeing it. It's a, it's so, like, so they, they, they say, what can we do for you? I said, well, I said, um, now, of course, being a Republican, there was an advantage there because they didn't feel hostile when they walked in. Uh, but I said, look, my vision is to have a hydrogen highway in California. And the goal is that by the time I'm finished with my governorship, with my two terms, I'm already assuming I win the second term. Um, <laughs> I said, I want to have enough fueling stations that a hydrogen-fueled car can drive up and down, left and right, east to west, whatever that they want, and not run out of fuel. So I want to build enough fueling stations so that we eventually can get hydrogen-fueled cars to California, because I'm sick and tired hearing, where well, we don't want to build hydrogen-fueled cars because they're in a fueling station. Well, we don't want to place any fueling stations anywhere because they're not hydrogen-fueled cars. So the chicken and the egg. So I said, well, I want to start right away with the fueling stations. Can you help me? And Chevron said, yes, we're on board. We're going to give you the space and our uh, Chevron gas stations. We're going to go and give them a, 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 you know, a place where they can go and fuel up hydrogen fuel. And we have now 24 hydrogen fueling stations in California enough that you can drive anywhere around. And now we are going to do the next thing, which is to go all the way up to Vancouver and build enough uh, fueling stations all the way up to Vancouver. So as you can see, you can work with the oil companies. I think the key thing is, is to bring them in and to make them understand that they should diversify with their investments, not just to invest in oil, but to invest in green energy, because this will be the energy of the future, and it will be smart investment for them also. But just attacking them and just villainizing them alone is not going to bring them in, because they always will feel they are on the other side, and they have to fight the war and all those things. So you can fight them, but you can also negotiate them. And I was always in the belief, the more we bring everyone in, and the more we make everyone part of the crusade, the more and the faster we can win this crusade.